Hello everyone, thank you for joining this webinar. If you remember, my name is Viktor Neustroyev and uh, I will conduct this webinar. Okay, now you see my face, there is my camera working and there are 10 attendees. Okay, hello guys, uh, please tell me which country are you from? Uh, for example, I'm from Russia. I, I guess all of you know that I'm from Russia, and moreover, you can hear a Russian accent. Uh, please also um, tell me if you can hear me, and uh, the sound is good, and um, you can see the our Forexbot logo on my screen. Okay, Mike is. Mike is from United Kingdom. And uh, Dan is also from United Kingdom. Hi, guys. And Malik is from Nigeria. Peter from United States. Chris from United Kingdom. Okay, guys. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, let's just speak about some uh, trading stuff. Um, what I want to tell you about in this webinar is, of course, uh, how to make manual backtest in MetaTrader 4. But uh, we will be waiting for more attendees for five to seven minutes. So I want to I want to tell you something about uh, Trump's new tax plan. Maybe you have heard that uh, Trump is going to uh, to increase the lowest tax rate on individuals from 10% to 12%. And at the same time, tax rate on high earners is lower it from uh, 39 and 6 to 35%. And for corporates, from 35% to 20. Uh, what what do you think about um, uh, this new tax plan? Um, as for me, it looks like that uh, it creates an impression that the plan is helping the riches rather than the poors. But uh, in some point, I can understand uh, Trump's idea. Uh, uh, let's um, discuss his first uh, rate change. For example, uh, rate on individuals will be changed from 10 to 12, so he's going to increase it by 2%, and it means that uh, it means that consumer spending will be lower, it will decrease, and in the near term, it means that uh, like slow down in uh, American economy. However, uh, if speaking about high earners and corporates, their tax rate will be decreased and um, it, will, it would help uh, investors and uh, huge uh, companies to invest more money in different projects uh, to create more uh, working, sp uh, I mean, to create more working places, and at the same time, uh, in the long-term perspective, it uh, looks like uh, it can um, it can affect uh, American economy in a positive way. I mean, um, in a long-term perspective, uh, the GDP will increase. I am not so sure because there are so many factors uh, affecting GDP, but uh, looks like Trump's idea is the same. So uh, less taxes for high earners and corporates means more, uh, more investments. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, at the same time, this new plan uh, 
um, arises some questions on uh, finding the loss in tax revenue. And looks like there is nothing to cover this tax, uh, this uh, loss in the tax revenue. And uh, so maybe it means that, maybe it would lead to constraints in infrastructure spending in the um, United States. So I have no ideas how Trump is going to fund this uh, this loss in tax revenue. And not, not only me, I believe all market participants uh, can't really estimate whether this new tax plan is positive for American dollar or not. Maybe they need more time to think about it, so. Okay, yes, Peter, I see that. <laughs> it's not only me who don't understand the Trump, I uh, don't understand Trump and his his ideas. Okay. Um, however, um, I don't think that uh, he should uh, rise a rate on individuals because um, less consumer spending is is not what we want for the economy, because uh, maybe you have heard about uh, such an experience in Switzerland. There was an initiative uh, when the government suggested to pay uh, 2,500 American dollars to every citizen of Switzerland. But actually, this in initiative wasn't approved. Uh, however, the idea was to increase consumer spending. It means that people would buy more and it would stimulate um, uh, Swiss economy. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, by the way, I, I, I just can't imagine that um, such thing can happen in uh, Russia or even in the United States that people will just get money just for nothing. Ah, moreover, just one more thing I want to say about the companies. So, um, as I said, the tax rate for corporates will decrease from 35% to 20% and uh, uh, looks like that it could speed up the cooperation between companies and uh, maybe, but anyway, I'm not sure it will mm, it will affect GDP in a positive way, but it's just only my ideas how it works. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what I learned at university. So this is how it works, but uh, anyway, there are so many factors affecting uh, this process, so we can't just um, uh, calculate all of them. Oh, yes, uh, Robert, yes, I'm planning to talk about MetaTrader 4 and how to make manual backtest in MetaTrader. Okay, so if there are any questions, just uh, don't hesitate to ask now, maybe about the current uh, market situation. So uh, there is one more thing I want you to know. Uh, looks like uh, there is one member of uh, Bank of Japan who called for expanding stimulus. So. Uh, looks like uh, in future they may uh, stimulate their economy with additional monetary easing uh, to get or I mean to to stabilize inflation. By the way, uh, today uh, national CPI was released by, I mean, Japanese CPI was released and it came at 0.7% uh, in August. 
up from 0 0.5 Uh, what else? Unemployment rate was unchanged at two and eight percent. However, household spending rose uh, zero point six percent. Okay, so what? Do you have any ideas uh, regarding um, Japanese yen? Uh, and by the way, what do you think if um, additional monetary easing will be applied for Amer uh, for Japanese economy? Um, as for me, I think that in this case um, there will be oversupply of Japanese yen in uh, Japan, so it means that um, American dollar against Japanese yen will increase. So. Uh, if this initiative will be applied, then approved, I mean, then then we can see an uptrend in uh, dollar against American, uh, and American dollar against Japanese yen. Okay, so there are 15 attendees now, and uh, let's start the webinar. Okay, so... Just let me repeat one more time. Our topic is manual backtesting in MetaTrader 4. And uh, just once again, hello everyone. My name is Viktor Nustroyev and thank you for joining this webinar. Uh, maybe you know that I'm a private trader and since 2003 I've been trading financial markets and uh, I started with Forex, then I brought in my horizons to commodity markets and nowadays I specialize in agricultural markets because I consider them more transparent. However, I have some, I still trade Forex and I have some strategies that work. And, um, okay, just one more thing. This webinar will be recorded, it is recorded now, and it will be uploaded on forexbot.com. Okay, please read the disclaimer. And uh, I'm gonna turn off my camera and start the webinar. Okay, as I said, today our topic is manual backtesting in MetaTrader 4. And during all their trading activities, traders try to improve their existing strategies and diversify risks, adding more strategies or different trading markets, uh, for example, more currency pairs if we are speaking about Forex. It's quite good if it's easy to code the strategy. In this case, you can just use strategy tester built into MetaTrader 4, but uh, sometimes before coding the strategy, we want to be sure that it works and it makes sense to code it. And uh, then you can ask yourself if there is a method to make backtests for manual strategies. And of course, the, you can just scroll the chart and point setups on the history. But if you use redrawing indicators, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm sure you read the disclaimer. Um, okay, so I just said that if you use redrawing indicators, this uh, manual backtest, I mean, uh, just uh, looking, uh, just scrolling the chart and pointing setups, it doesn't work. Uh, that's why trading results on history and when you trade on real money count will be different. And it's quite important to make manual backtests when you have an option to model history ticks. This is our webinar plan and just let me first um, tell you what 
uh, manual backtesting is. It's such a backtesting in which you can simulate a live market environment with dynamic prices. It's important to know any backtest that we perform manual or automated suffer from a singular drawback and that is the fact that past performance is not necessarily going to replicate itself. But uh, that's not the point of the manual backtest. The reason we are doing the test is to train ourselves using the tools of the strategy being tested. And another reason is that we just want to know whether the strategy we test is profitable or not. And um, in this webinar, I will tell you how to make manual back tests. First, I'm going to demonstrate you everything using the slides of this presentation, but then I, I will share my screen and explain everything uh, we did in real time. And um, uh, in this webinar, I want you to meet with a simple Forex tester application. Of course, this application has some negative sides, but it also has many advantages. It's free, uh, it's easy to use, and you can make a backtest in MetaTrader 4. Before you start to make manual backtests, you should download it to your computer. Let me show you. There are two folders in this archive and um, the content of the first folder we copy here. We, uh, we copy it to the folder we installed our MetaReader for. And the content of the second folder, uh, uh, you should copy it to data folder. Uh, you can find it from your MetaReader 4 application. Just uh, click File and open data folder. After we copied everything, we should restart a MetaTrader 4. Then we click Tools, Options, and Expert Advisors tab. We should allow automated trading and allow DLL imports, like it is shown here. We need it to be able to run manual backtests. Okay, and uh, first we need to create a template of the trading strategy we are going to test. Uh, so let's just stop and I want to tell you about the strategy that will be shown today. This strategy is called Rainbow. Uh, maybe I have already mentioned in my previous webinars, um, the reason why I use this strategy, I consider it just be very, uh, very simple and easy for understanding. I'll show you how to use it. Uh, you open a M15 time frame of Euro USD chart. You can also use this strategy for British pound against American dollar or Australian dollar against American. But I don't want you to apply this strategy on cross courses. Then you should set five moving average indicators with different periods. Uh, five. 14, 21, 65, and 120. All of them should be using open prices and be based on the exponential model. Uh, if all five moving averages are in a very low range, five to 10 pips for at least three, four hours, it means that this market was in flat. And um, the common rules, uh, tells us that the trend follows after each, yeah. 
that um, the flat follows after each trend and every trend ends with a flat. Thus, when you see that the market was flat, uh, you have to be prepared for a new trend. You can see that it happened here. It's a kind of flat. Uh, okay, and then when you see that all moving averages should, uh, that, that they are located in the right order, for example, red one is higher than orange, orange is higher than yellow, uh, yellow is higher than green, and green is higher than blue, you should wait for uptrend continuation. Like, like you see here, there was uh, this rainbow was unfold, and for example, you can open a trade here, and um, this is a very accurate signal, and you may base your strategy on it. And now I want to show you how to create a template. Um, for example, okay, let's let's do this white. Okay, so then we choose M15 time frame, then we start to add moving averages. Trend, moving average, it's red, it's exponential, apply to open prices. Uh, red should have a period of five. Okay, good. Then uh, let's do no. Okay, let's let's do it in this way. Indicators, um, trend, moving average, and then we uh, yellow or oh, orange. Here is orange. Okay, and the time. The period will be 14, okay, then yellow one, 21, the next one is green, 65, And the next is, uh, the last one is a uh, blue one with the period 120. Okay, we applied. So then we should just um, click uh, with the right um, button of the mouse, template, save template. And for example, just to uh, uh, let's call it 111. Okay, now the template was created. I actually, I did the same for this uh, template and uh, I saved it as rainbow. Let me repeat uh, once again the rules of this um, system. I mean, of these trading strategies. So we should use these five moving averages. Uh, all moving averages should be located in the right order. And uh, to open a trade, the rainbow should unfold, like it is shown here. And uh, for, um, I use fixed stop loss of 30 pips. And uh, I will close the trade if the price crosses this uh, the green one, uh, I mean green one, uh, moving average with uh, 65 period. Okay, let's continue with our manual backtest preparation. So then we should run uh, the expert advisor. 
uh, we click on it and then drop it to the chart of the currency pair we are going to test. Uh, after we applied a template and ran the expert advisor, our chart will look like this here. You see there is a lot of, inf uh, a lot of information about um, about everything, about any open trades. I will I will explain it to you a little bit later. Okay, then after that we we should open a strategy tester. Okay, here we choose the time frame M15. Um, it's, it depends on um, on your strategy. For example, this strategy works on M15 time frame. Okay, then we uh, enter the starting and final date of the backtest and don't forget to tick visual mode. And the slider should be moved to the rightmost position. And then to run a backtest, you should click here, start. Uh, after that, you will uh, load uh, the template you created for the strategy. And this is what would happen. So now we should start our test. Okay, so we will get um, this application running and uh, uh, if we want to, uh, when we see that the setup was formed uh, in this simple Forex tester application, we click on pause and then we send a new order using this place new order button. Then we set all needed parameters of the order and then we click um, sell or buy. And anytime you want to pause or continue the backtest, we click on play pause. Okay, so let me show you everything by real-time example. Okay, so oh, just let's start from the very beginning. I will close it. Okay, what we see, there is the, an archive and there is a, um, um, uh, the folder where we installed MetaTrader 4 and the content of the first folder we should just copy and uh, uh, copy to this folder where this MetaTrader 4 was installed. You see that these files are already here. Okay, then uh, we Open our MetaTrader form. Here it is. Then we open our data folder. Okay, and we should we should copy the content of the second folder. It's, uh, indicators and expert advisors so we open MQL4 experts then we copy this expert simple FX tester version second uh, version 2 to the to our terminal data folder here like here it is then indicators, uh, indicators here, and yes, you see that this indicator was added. 
here it is. Uh, what we do then, then we should restart our MetaTrader 4. Let's do this again. So we did it. Then we click uh, Tools, Options, and uh, be sure to tick this um, point. So, uh, allow automated trading and allow DLL imports, because this expert advisor uses DLL. Okay, then we create a template. The template was already created. Uh, then we should find this expert advisor. Here it is, and add it to the chart this way. Uh, you shouldn't change any uh, parameters. Um, just use default parameters. Click OK. You see that simple effects tester version 2. Now it works. Okay, let's do it once again. Okay, um, there is a question by Malik. Where can you download this uh, Forex tester? Um, it's free, you can find it anywhere in the internet, but uh, actually I'm going to provide you with uh, this archive. So this one, you can just uh, ask Damien and uh, I'm sure it will be published in um, our Facebook private trading group. Okay, uh, here you see um, all the data is here, it's current time, um, current time, current date, day of week and your account balance, um, but after we run our um, simple forex tester in strategy tester, then these um, values will be different. Let's do this because our next step is to run this expert advisor in uh, uh, strategy tester. So here it is. We choose this expert advisor. We are going to test it on Euro USD. Uh, M15 time frame and we use every tick. It's the most precise method. Let's start, for example, let's check how this strategy worked in September. Uh, then to move uh, move this slider to the rightmost position. Then we click start. Okay, you see that the program is going to start. Program start up. Okay, click OK to connect MetaTrader for now. We click OK. Now we see that uh, simple effects tester works. We click pause. Then we apply our template. Rainbow. Then again we click play pause. And it started to simulate data, I mean to model ticks. This is how you can, um, this is how you can uh, control the playback, just uh, move it to the rightmost position and uh, then um, this, the speed of the test will increase. This is what I did, and uh, let's imagine, for example, that now the setup was formed. Then we click place new order. Well, first we, well, for example, we just want to open um, a trade. Let it be long trade. We click pause, place a new order, and here you can choose what you want. Uh, let's check again. So this symbol is Euro USD. This is the volume. Uh, it's the volume of the trade in standard lots. 
for example, depends on your deposit, but uh, for uh, 10,000 deposit, I recommend to trade um, with um, 0 0.10 or 0 0.1 of the standard lot. This is the stop loss uh, and the take profit. You can just Um, you can just set the prices or you can uh, like uh, write it in pips like let it be 30 pips and oh, okay uh, 45 pips for take profit and then uh, uh, there is also a trailing stop in pips we can also use it I will just uh, demonstrate it a little bit later and then there is an order type order type it can be instant execution and pending order depends on what what do you want if you want to send a pending order or and wait until it um, um, until the um, trade will be opened or you just want to open by market like now for example let's open by market uh, with instant execution we click buy you see that the trade was opened at the current price okay then we close this win window and continue our backtest you see that this is a stop loss and th this is a take profit so let's uh, let's wait For example, then you may see that um, now it's time to close the trade because um, we got a controversial signal or something like this. So you just uh, click on play pause and uh, here you can close order uh, the order or modify it. For example, if, okay, just wait a second. There is something wrong. Let's do it again. Uh, th there is something wrong with my computer because um, I don't know. But uh, sometimes on on uh, on this exact computer, it um, shows some mistakes. But actually, it worked today today morning, and I can show you the results. But I will do it later. Okay. Anyway, we click start. Uh, apply template. Okay, here. Uh, then we wait a second. Uh, play pause. Place a new order. Uh, let's do it once again. Buy. Okay. There is a long trade. Then you decide to close it. You click close order. And uh, if the order was closed, um, doesn't matter by take profit, stop loss, or you decided to close it manually, you can find it in the tab closed. Here it is. This is the result of the trade. Okay, so let's um, let's continue. Now you see that's the price you opened this trade and this is the closing price. Let's increase the speed of the back test. Okay, let's for example now open a new one. Place a new order, let it make a pending order. Uh, let it be a buy stop. The current price is uh, here. Place an order. Okay. Then we, here you see, it's a pending order and we are waiting. Actually, uh, it, um, the 
price was reached and uh, the order, oh, I mean this, now it's a working order and uh, we have some profit. Okay, let's again pause and to close this order, close it. And again, you see that it is here. The order was closed. Okay, let's continue. Uh, actually, it takes a few hours for you to test a month, but it depends on your strategy, of course. For example, uh, there were uh, four, tr four trades in September on the um, on this trading strategy on Rainbow uh, using Rainbow, and uh, I will demonstrate to you all of them, all the trades later. And it took me about a few hours today to to make this manual back test. Uh, and of course, it depends on your computer speed. Okay, let's pause and uh, open um, another order. Uh, place a new order. Let it be um, just uh, let let's sell and just make let's make a trailing stop and a break even. So. Uh, Break even is after how many pips trailing stop will be applied. Let's make it again uh, 15 pips, for example. Then we click sell. The order was opened. Then we click uh, again play pause. And now you see how trailing stop works. Uh, as for me, I usually don't use any trailing stops in my uh, trading strategies. I don't. I, I have a lot of experience, and I can't say that it's a useful tool. However, I know that some traders use it, and they are pretty good in it. They are satisfied. Okay, let's see how it works. Okay, let's let's wait until uh, this trade will be closed by stop loss or take profit. If it <laughs> and by the way, here is the time the current time of um, the data you are modeling now, for example, it's the 1st of September and it's uh, 4.48 a.m. of, uh, if we, um, it, it's uh, the time in ter terminal, so. And moreover, it demonstrates the day of the week. For example, uh, some people prefer not to trade on Friday, and uh, usually I, I also I don't like to trade on Fridays because um, the the market is the more, most unpredictable this day. It's it's again it depends. Uh, it's it from my experience. Okay, looks like nothing happens and let's just close the trade. Uh, close order with a small profit. Then we click again. So now we see that here you can see the, the, the time and the price that uh, this order was opened. And it's a closing price. Uh, one more thing. Let's open the order again or for example, place new order. Uh, you can also add a comment. For example, if you are not sure that the setup was formed correctly, for, um, for example, you can add uh, like like any comment signal. And not correct setup. Click buy. 
the order was opened. And yes, so we because there were extra options like trailing stop and break even, then we see that uh, this it, everything was applied to this to this trade. Yes, and this trade was closed by um, stop loss. Now you see. Okay. Uh, what else? Let me show you my results, what I did uh, using this strategy that, uh, I, uh, that I demonstrate in this webinar. There were four trades. Here, I, let, let me show you. There was the first trade happened at uh, the 7th of September here. So this rainbow was unfolded. And then I open a long trade, and uh, only here it crossed this green line, and I closed the trade. And you may see that uh, the close order profit was ninety-eight dollars. So you can also see it here, ninety-eight and one, and uh, ninety-one, ninety-eight and ten cents. Okay, the next. The next one uh, happened in uh, at September 11. Here it is. It was a um, short trade, and uh, I got 31 dollar. So it's approximately 31 point. Uh, I mean 31 pips, and uh, this is the time and the price of. I mean, opening price of this trade, and this is where I closed when uh, the price crossed the green line. So the second trade was also successful. Then the next one, the rainbow was unfolded here, and I um, opened my long position here, but then the market eventually started to decrease, and uh, you see that I closed uh, too late. I should, I you, actually I should close this trade when uh, the price crosses the green line, but um, I just um, I just missed this moment and closed um, a little bit later and just got a profit of four dollars so and uh, you see that after three trades my closed orders profit it was one hundred thirty three dollars and sixty cents and the last trade in September happened in uh, at uh, September 20 here you see I opened my trade here uh, but um, unfortunately, it was a losing trade. I have to close it, but I didn't lose much. It was just only about five dollars, and this is my uh, total result. Um, the total profit is one hundred twenty-eight dollars and ninety cents. So there was only four trades on Euro USD using the strategy that I demonstrated to you, and uh, yes, they were successful. But of course, it depends on the trader whether to open the position and um, when to close. And for example, if we test um, August or any other month, then we can see some different results. Moreover. Uh, it can be losing strategies, for example, from uh, June to June to August, uh, and this strategy works when the market is in trend. When it's flat, uh, this strategy gets so many losses. Okay. 
so there is also one more thing I want to show you. And anyway, if you have any questions regarding this application or maybe just how to use it, how to make trades, how to place new orders, close them, just uh, don't hesitate to ask now. Okay, looks like there is no, uh, there are no questions. So let me show you something interesting. Uh, what if you want to speed up your manual backtest? Okay, let's close everything, and even this chart and this one. Okay, then uh, we can use another model. Um, for example, control points or open prices only. Let's do this. Control points is a very crude method, and actually, um, I don't recommend it, but uh, you may try, and you will see. Okay, there is a question. Okay, Chris, um, so you used, okay, so you have used Forex Tester, uh, but yes, the forest, uh, this simple forest tester is not uh, the only way to make manual, manual back tests. Uh, it's just one of the possible, and uh, I, I, as I see it, uh, uh, by the way, it's the most simple way I saw. But if you use your current expert advisor and it works, so why not try it? Okay, just continue using your expert advisor. Uh, moreover, um, ah, this so you don't have to reprogram your. Um, what do you mean? So you just test your expert advisor, which ah, uh, okay, okay, Chris. Looks like I don't understand what you are asking. So you mean you use your expert advisor and uh, um, so what? You can just make an um, automated backtest or you can just use visual mode to see when it opens the trades and um, but actually you don't need it. Uh, we actually we do this manual backtest if we don't have a strategy uh, that is already coded. So if we are going to code the strategy, but we are not sure whether it works or not, we can uh, make a manual backtest. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, another question from Crystal. I use that broker and would like to use SimpleFX data versus MetaTrader 4. Uh, Crystal, which broker? Uh, because my uh, terminal is downloaded from MetaQuotes, the creator of MetaTrader 4. There are no brokers here. And uh, even this uh, simple Forex tester is made not by broker. They were just some programmers in internet. I, I believe they were Russians, because MetaTrader 4 is very popular in Russia, and all of the programs, uh, all of the applications which um, can be used in MetaTrader 4, uh, most of them are made by Russians. Okay, uh, uh, there is a question by Hey Thumb. If there is any similar applications for building expert advisors, uh, as I know, I, I've never met such applications for building expert advisors. Uh, but uh, it's not uh, it's not so difficult to code an expert advisor yourself. For example, uh, you may see the courses of Kirill Yermenko. Uh, I, I know that they are on Forex board, you can find them anywhere else, uh, but it's easy. He is a good uh, teacher and he is a good coder. Uh, 
Okay, there is a question by Paul. Um, yes, there is one thing I want to clarify to you. For, for example, if you use uh, redrawing indicators, then uh, you can't just uh, open the chart and point the setups and then um, define that the trade was profitable or not. Uh, in this case, you should use manual backtesting. Okay, or you can use, um, or you can, you can just code um, um, an expert advisor um, for your strategy and test it. Uh, uh, on the strategy tester in MetaTrader 4. Okay, um, the simple effects tester is only for manual backtesting. Yes, it is. We use, it's not even an expert, we just use it to, um, to make back tests using this tool. It's, it's not a trading expert advisor. It's just, um, just for testing needs. Okay. Uh, okay, and there is one more question by Nicholas. Just wanted to know if there is an expert advisor to deploy strategy on live account, or does one have to code it? Uh, as according from my experience, I don't know any expert advisors to deploy your strategy uh, to the real account. So I, I don't know anyone. I, I can. Uh, what I usually do if I think that. Uh, the strategy works, then I uh, test it using, for example, manual backtesting, or when I'm sure that the strategy works, I can just uh, ask a coder to code it, and then I will run this expert advisor and um, strategy tester, MetaTrader 4, optimize it, optimize it and um, find at the optimal parameters and run it on real account or maybe in, sometimes in sent account. Okay, Fritz, um, where can we download this expert advisor? Uh, it will be in our Facebook uh, private trading group, so you can ask Damien about it. He can he will place it there and you will download it for free uh, don't uh, don't don't buy it anywhere it's it's free in the internet and you can just find it in our private trading group after after this webinar of course uh, okay and uh, if we're speaking about the this strategy rainbow um, I recommend to use Euro against American dollar, British pound against American dollar, and where is it? Australian dollar against American, and M15 time frame is better. Okay, and um, think about more questions. I will show you something very interesting. Uh, so what if you want to speed up your manual backtest? You can use control points and just do the same. Click start, okay. Apply template again. Okay, let's move the slider to the rightmost position. Now you see how fast it is because we use control points. Uh, by the way, of course, every tick is the most accurate method. Okay, let's stop.
Okay, and now we can do same thing using open prices. We, again, we click start, okay, pause, and uh, apply a template. And again, so play, pause. Now you see how fast it is if we use open prices only. We can slow it a little bit like this. So if you want to speed up your manual backtesting, you can use another model. Like open prices only or control points. But every tick is the, the most accurate method of um, of modeling the ticks. Okay, uh, if there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run a poll and uh, please uh, tell me how satisfied are you from the webinar, please vote, uh, when one is bad and five is excellent. Now the poll was launched and we are collecting responses. Okay, I will close it after uh, one minute. 80% have already voted. And more, there are also some questions and I will, uh, of course, I will answer. And yes, this webinar was recorded and it will be uploaded on forexvote.com. Any other questions? Okay, 87% voted. So just guys, please vote. And then I'm gonna close the poll. Yeah, here it is. Okay, okay. Thank you guys for coming and thank you for attention. Uh, I'll be here for five minutes more. Just ask any questions you want, maybe some different questions on the other topics. Uh, if speaking about manual backtesting, this is uh, that was all I wanted to tell you on the, in this webinar. And uh, I believe that you will find this tool very useful and yeah, it will be easy for you to to make a manual backtest of your strategy to be sure that the strategy is good and profitable and at the same time you will uh, you will train yourself. Okay, yes, thank you guys. If there is something else you can you can ask anything okay uh, a question from Haytham can we use this application for expert advisor optimization no unfortunately we can't and I don't think we really need to use this application for optimization because if we want to optimize our for, uh, forex robot we can just do it in uh, our MetaTrader 4 without using any additional application. Just choose uh, choose the expert advisor you want to optimize and just click optimization. And maybe um, uh, if you uh, if you missed my webinar uh, regarding optimization, you can uh, still watch it on forexbot.com. Just tick here and optimize all the parameters you want. Okay, more questions? Uh, 
Okay, there is a question. Um, uh, the pop-up window, is this window, where you enter the order, is this the expert advisor or different application? Uh, it's external application, but uh, you can download it within the archive that I will provide you at, in, uh, in our private trading group. So you, you just need to install it correctly. Okay, what is uh, what is the difference? Uh, the thing is that using this application and this expert advisor, we uh, make manual backtests. If you if you have already your strategy coded, you don't need it. But for those who uh, who is not sure about uh, whether the strategy works or not, this is a great tool, and it helps to 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 see how it works the strategy. So I, I know that uh, most traders uh, trade manually, and they they should be sure whether the strategy works or not. So that's why they need such a tool, uh, a simple forex tester or any other tools which can help them to make manual backtest and uh, be sure in uh, their strategy. Okay, uh, question from Nicholas. Uh, in the previous webinar, I demonstrated the expert advisor applied to Euro USD currency pair. Uh, not to Euro USD, but to Euro against British pound uh, when the market was flat. Uh, yes, it was a Stomper. Here it is. And uh, you can download it um, in the, for our Facebook trading group. I mean, forex board. Uh, okay, how can I connect with the Facebook forex board group? If you are a member of forex board, you can uh, you you can you can get there. Ask Damian for that. Uh, so we won't place it on forexboard.com. I mean, this expert advisor, but you can find it in uh, forex board's private trading group in uh, on Facebook. Uh, by the end of the webinar, I will um, send this expert advisor and I mean this archive to the Damian, so he will he will upload it. Okay, any more questions? Okay, thank you guys for coming anyway. I believe you found find this webinar helpful. Okay, thank you all and let's finish the webinar and uh, I just want to remind you that the topic was manual backtesting in MetaTrader 4 and I demonstrated you one of the ways to make manual backtest using the expert advisor and external application simple forex tester okay thank you let's now finish the webinar